Let's read Daddy Atsu's comments. Genshin's community experience with Tectone. Having a guy you don't like be obsessed with you. Top 10 most horrible experiences in my life. The Genshin community? Oh, no, no, no. I don't... I'm not obsessed with the Genshin community. I despise the vocal minority of Genshin that have Hoyo versus shit so far in their mouth. They can practically tell with their taste buds what they had for lunch. All right, let's, let's go ahead and break this here down. Now, what's important to understand is that Atsu is a very, very, very manipulative man. Very, very, very manipulative man. Guy has made tons of claims against me, which I would like to reiterate, were never proven, completely baseless, pulled out of his ass, and people ate that shit up. They ate that shit up. They said, oh yeah, you're true. Bro said my roommate was being manipulated by me and he was my puppet and anything that I said for him to do, he must have done when Goose called him out for, imagine this, subtweeting content creators. Oh my, oh my, drama or Atsu a drama lover? Oh my, oh my, uh, which led a, to a massive falling out between me and Goose because he felt so bad for the issues that he caused me because he was attempting to call a bullshitter out on bullshitting and we don't talk anymore. So this dude made me lose a homie because he couldn't get over the guilt that he caused me, which also, and I don't really want to go any further out of respect to the guy, caused him to do some really, really bad shit. Some really bad shit. I'd prefer not to go further, but I'll continue. And that was, a, yeah, that was about three years ago, guys. That was about three years ago. Not good. Because this is the problem with people like Atsu is that people believe him 1 million percent. Community and content creators alike without fact-checking a single thing that he says. Most likely because he has very good ties with Hoyoverse and don't want to get on his bad side without fear of losing sponsorships. Let's be real. He's the figurehead for almost every little parade and contest they do, right? Let's just keep it 100%. Why would you want to with the hand that feeds you? Okay, that's directly with your money, right? That's pretty much how it goes. <clears throat> Let's continue. I saw this... Already on stream, but to reiterate here, I thought it was unfair how Tecton and Dora, amongst others, got absolutely blasted by Twitter following Zionix's, what the f Zionix's tweet. It was unprovoked, and I think it was bad if we act like people can't have their opinions whether they're overly positive or overly negative, especially when we're not forcing it on you. Now, here's the thing. To a normal human being, you would read that and you would assume, oh, wow, he really is trying to be very fair and based right here. Wow, he's not strictly going on the attack. Wow, he's so nice. So uh, here's the thing. This is a common debate tactic where you attempt to say something that the majority of people agree with that way for your following point when you leave with a controversial point people are more inclined to believe with you twice because they already believed you once so hopefully that makes sense this is not a genuine comment i guarantee he was laughing his ass off of this shit and did not feel bad at all i can probably expect later in this post more virtue signaling and putting himself on a pedestal and he probably won't say that he's angry at me or he probably will say that he probably liked me and he'll probably say he doesn't hate me and he's not angry at my action he's just disappointed this is a year old not even thousands of years old manipulation tactics of virtue signaling and putting yourself on a pedestal mainly taken by narcissists and trust me I know narcissists. I know narcissists very, very, very well. Let's continue down this little path. Having said that, the way Tectone has reacted to this by diverging the conversation, name dropping, throwing shots, and spreading misinformation about CCs, including myself, and parts of the community he is bitter towards just comes across as extremely insecure. Does it? Does that come across as insecure? I don't think it does. I think it comes across as very secure. If I was insecure, I'd be out there trying to gobble your balls and suck your dick and say, oh, Atsu, Atsu, please get Hoyoverse to sponsor me. I know how tight you are with them. Wow, you're such a good guy. Wow. Makes no sense. Makes no sense whatsoever. No, but I want to go through bit by bit. Having said that, the way that Tecton has reacted is by diverging the conversation. Speaking of diverging the conversation, this isn't even about content to content creator drama. This was about my issue with Genshin Impact and my issue with trying to better the game. This post is diverging the conversation away from constructive criticism to drama between content creators. And why, oh why, are you the guy to make this post? Oh, perhaps it's because you're tightly knit 
with Genshin Impact. I'm curious, Atsu. Are you underneath a contract of Hoyoverse? I am very curious. I would love to know. Would you like to just make it clear? Or are you just doing all these events for them for fun? Do, do you really think I'm going to trust Ronald McDonald's opinion on McDonald's? No wonder you think there's a problem when the hamburger comes out and says, hey, you know what? Burger King's chicken fries are better than McDonald's. Oh, wow. Shocked. I'm a shocker. Let's, let's keep going down here. Name dropping. Well, you know what's crazy about name dropping? So Dish said, your very close friend, that when I'm vague about it, there's a problem. And so then I name drop. And so when I name drop, there's a problem. Here's an idea. I can't name drop or vaguely allude to people who aren't being cucks. It's really not that hard. Throwing shots and spreading misinformation about CCs, like what? What misinformation? I would love to know. Is there something that I'm doing that I'm not aware of? Because as far as I'm saying, all I said was, be genuine with your audience. Don't say this and then do that. What? What's the misinformation? Feel free to let me know. I think it's clear to most that he's just milking content and viewership while parading himself to be some sort of advocate for change. Now, isn't that so apropos? Let's read this over one more time. I think it's clear to most that he's just milking content and viewership while parading himself to be some sort of noble advocate for change. Hold up. Gets better. This is the narrative he wants, and naturally his fans are going to eat it up. There's really not much you can do about that. You mean the same way that Genshin CCs who hate the game post positive agenda video after positive agenda video because they know that they'll get yes cook him yes i love you so much you mean like what everybody else has been doing but here's the thing when i do it i tell people what i'm doing i'll say this once i'll say it a thousand times i'm not a babysitter so i'm not gonna take care of all these children for free you're goddamn right i throw on ads on drama videos you're goddamn right. I ain't doing that shit for free. Absolutely not. You know how annoying y'all are? It is insane how annoying y'all mother are. It blows my mind. Y'all are some of the most irritating, unlikable mother I've ever met in my entire life. And that's okay because you're around good company. You have each other. Have fun circle jerking each other's cocks while you all say, Oh, I'll post this Twitter post next. Oh, then I'll post this. Oh, don't worry, bro. I'll post this next. Shut the fuck up. Jesus Christ. Like, I give a Play your Genshin. Jesus Christ. Insane. Let's continue on. How 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 apropos it is for the pot to be calling the kettle black. Insane. Insane. It would be amazing if he could take his own attitude of assuming the worst of others and apply it to himself. Because from the looks of it, he loathes this game. I do. I do loathe the game for what it's become. It had potential to be everything that we thought it could have been. And it didn't. You're absolutely right. And you know what's crazy? You act like that's a bad thing. You act like that's a problem. You act like if you don't like a game or you fall out of love with the game because the developers treat it like shit, that that's a bad thing. Homeboy, I don't suffer from Stockholm Syndrome, okay? When a game falls off, when a game stops trying, I stop playing. And you can say, oh man, now he hates the game like it's a bad thing. I'm sorry, bro. This is just called being honest let's continue oh and community oh my god jesus christ yeah dude i i love the community where you go on twitter and then you post a photo of ayato and the female main character online and then people say they're a lesbian you can't do this oh i love the community where they try to assassinate the ceo i love the community that that sends death threats to kakomi's voice actor yeah that's great here's the thing i like people who enjoy Genshin Impact because then I can talk to them about Genshin Impact and we can talk about what we like, what we don't like. It's nice to have a dialogue. The people who I don't like, and you're goddamn right I don't like them, are these chronically online Twitter cucks. Okay? This is why I'm proud. that the, This is why they think they have so much power over me. I don't give a f how my weakest platform is Twitter because I don't pander to these dumb little kids. I don't. I don't want these. He has cook him techie with the nails emoji and fire emoji and every single post. I don't want that shit because those people are fickle. They're not going to be with you the moment you play anything else. It doesn't matter. I like having people who get this are mentally stable. People who can differentiate a, a, a critical review versus being toxic. Can you say the same? Let's continue. And he always looks miserable when referencing Genshin. No, I don't. 
I love talking about this game. It's my favorite thing to talk about change. You want me to tell you why this is the truth? Why don't we just go ahead and prove this? Why don't we just go ahead and prove this right. with receipts? You want to act like I'm miserable making this content? You must not know what my very first YouTube video was five years ago. Summoner's War Ideas number one. Shields, continuous damage, and debuff layouts. And you know what I did? I decided to make a YouTube channel for a game that I loved. And what do I do in my first video? I be critical of the game. And I say how the game can be improved and changed. Why don't we just throw it over to old Tectone from five years ago? And you tell me how I've changed. Hey there. Tectone here. Uh, I've been playing Summer Resort for like almost two years now. Yep. Pretty much every day. Uh, I took maybe like a two week break off one time. And, uh, you know, the game means a lot to me. Yep. And so me being part of the community, I want to start, you know, shooting my ideas out there because there's a lot of competition for Summoner's War lately. Yep. And I feel like Summoner's War has a lot of opportunities to grow with where- Does, does that sound familiar? Because to me, being critical of the game isn't being toxic. It's about attempting to help a video game where the whole player base would much prefer where the game would be. So I'm curious. Do I really look that miserable? Because I promise you, when I go offline and I hang out with all of my real friends, not just people who I happen to make content with, not some people who I happen to play the same video game with, and when I go to the gym and I work out and I have beautiful friends and beautiful pets, I promise you, we're doing great right now, buddy. I appreciate your concern, though, little guy. I do appreciate your concern. So why do we find him repeatedly inserting himself in Genshin-related things? Kind of like I don't like turning my back on games that have aided me a lot in the past. And as much as you want to see this as hostility, I see this as advocating for change. Now, let me ask you a question. Why do your friends constantly insist on inserting themselves in everything that I say about? Case in point, remember when Dish had to go ahead and start that Twitter article? about, oh, well, I really don't like your Twitter post on what's going on with TwitchCon when literally all I was saying was, hey, guys, I'm at the con, okay? If you see me, don't worry about it, okay? I'm not going to f*** with you. And Atsu, you know that's true. You want to know why? Because if I was some freak sociopath like people thought that I was, I remember, you remember when we made eye contact on the escalator at TwitchCon? Did I throw any shade your way? Did I attack you? No, I nodded at you and I looked away. You want to know why? Because I have the ability to be cordial and I wanted to ensure these people that I'm not a psychopath. So let's get off the high horse here. Okay, buddy? Let's let's get off the high horse. And, and before you deny that, hey man, I have five people who were there with me and you were by yourself. And I know you remember this. So let's not act. Okay, before you make a make baseless claim that that never happened, let's not act like it didn't. All right, now let's continue. Almost 20 drama-related videos in the past week is astounding levels of obsession. I can't make drama videos if there is no drama. The reason why there's 20 videos is because CN, CN is blowing up. Content creators are finally starting to speak out and be critical of the game, and I like to encourage them. And by the way, of those 20 drama videos and all the smaller content creators I've reacted to, well, guess what? I even took one content creator from four subscribers to 9,000. So I'm sure you have an issue with this, but me personally, I don't like surrounding myself with a click and then only inviting them once they hit a certain viewer count. I like talking to everybody and I like supporting every channel, but feel free and make me the villain for that one too. Very, very noble of you. Very noble. Very noble. People will point, it, point to it and say he's making money from all this. You're goddamn right. You're not wrong. It's definitely helping to pay the bills, but Techno's a large CC. He does not need the drama to pay the bills. True. I'm very well off. I appreciate that you acknowledge that. And you're goddamn right. I'm, I'm not going to make this shit for free. Why the f would I, bro? Say it again. I ain't taking care of children for free. Okay? I need a wage. All right? Call me a babysitter. Go ahead. In my experience, when I used to be friends, I want to make one thing very clear. We were not friends out there. We were cordial. Now, that line might have gotten muddy because I didn't know what a friend was, but let's be real. I mean, we talked a couple times. That's pretty much it. Let's continue forward. He wanted to be loved and respected by his peers and communities he was in. No, I did not. No, I didn't. Absolutely not. The thing that I wanted was to not get hate for no 
reason by simply being critical. Myself and M. Tash alike, you know as well as I know, M. Tash and I got so much more shit than what we deserved. And you would dismiss it as, well, that's what you get for poking the bear. Well, congratulations. Now you and all of your little friends are now experiencing 10%, not even, 1% of the bullshit that I've been dealing with from all these dickheads on the internet for three and a half years, and you've been experiencing it for two days. Did anybody reach out to me to see if I was okay? Absolutely not. Did anybody make a post to say, hey guys, let's ease up on Tectone? Absolutely not. So why would I take mercy on anybody who has me for three years after you made me lose one of my best friends with lies, with lies, and you got the internet to believe that shit? Because you're a very manipulative man, Atsu. You are. You're very good with your words, and you're very calculated. I'm sure you thought of this response for a very, very long time. And it's a shame, because while you look down on all these other people, just wait, man, because eventually it's going to come back around. And I'll be real, you've surrounded yourself with a lot of people who I don't think are going to have your back when that time comes. I'd be very careful. I'd be very, very, very careful. Let's keep going here. Deep down, I don't think his intentions are the wrong place, but my God is the way he goes about things awful and obnoxious. Then tell me the right way to do things. A lot of people say this. This is a great thing. You want to know why this is a great thing? Because I know he told Tawano the exact same thing. Because Tawano echoed that exact same sentiment. Now, once again, that's just speculation. But you can't tell me that what I'm doing is wrong and then not tell me how to do it right. You just simply cannot do that. But I am glad that you said, I don't think his intentions are on the wrong place. Respect for that. Good for you, right? It was a nice little backhanded insult, but I'll still take it. Or sorry, a backhanded comment. I'll still take it. Now, would anybody ever go on record to say that? No, no, they wouldn't. No, they wouldn't say that because God forbid you say Tectone's not so bad on Twitter. God forbid, but let's continue. Many of you, he and I had a very public falling out because he did not like what I had to say about him walking towards self-destruction by repeatedly getting involved with drama and surrounding himself with yes-men. For him, he thought this comment about self-destruction was about clout. I remember him bragging about getting into OTK as a rebuttal with my statement, but it was more so about his emotional and mental well-being because every drama would just make him and others so, so miserable. Oh. Oh, you care? Oh, you care? Oh, you're such a good guy. You're such a good guy. Oh, all you're doing is just calling every person I know a yes, man. You know what me up more than anything? is because sometimes, Atsu, you do get to me. You do. You do get to me. And I remember when you called my chat an echo chamber full of yes men and all of my friends a yes men chamber. You made me actually reevaluate the people I had in my life and you made me doubt people that had nothing but good intentions. Because I will admit, Atsu, you're a pretty smart guy. You're quite the snake. It is impressive. You know, you do have a way with words. No wonder you manipulate so many people in this community, especially the content creators. Very good. Leading them around like a bunch of children on every convention you go to. Very smart, very wise, very noble of you, Atsu. But the thing is, I don't think you realize how toxic your words truly are. And the other thing is, you're right. You did lead me to a horrible self... Well, you were trying to save you from this horrible self-destructive state. Yeah, look at me, man. I'm so sad all the time. Doing anything that I want with my best friends all day in the best mental state I've ever been while my dad's in the hospital getting heart surgery, I can still go live with a smile on my face because I am finally where I wanted to be in life. The exact place where you were trying to get me to not be. It's very interesting. How noble of a cause you are. What a great guy. Man, what a sweetheart. Let's continue. Sometimes the drama was unprovoked and people would target him, but most times it was self-inflicted. No, it wasn't. Nope. If that's the truth, then write it out. Say all the times that I didn't deserve it, and then say all the times that I did. Go ahead. I would love to know. 
Because vague blanket statements is the name of the game. So go ahead. Write them all out. No examples, McGee. Have fun, man. I can't wait. to Tell me all the ones that I didn't deserve. And then tell me all the ones that I did. Because this, to me, is another manipulation tactic for you to attempt to seem like you are being non-biased and you're truly trying to help me. Atsu, I mean this genuinely. Go yourself. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. You are a piece of shit who have caused me so much shit in my life. It's unbelievable. And while you sit there in your tower acting like you're so noble, I want you to know I want nothing to do with you at all. Even more so, I don't even want anything to do with anyone who would even consider being your friend. That's how much of a horrible person I truly believe you are. And I want you to know that. I have no sympathy for you. You are genuinely one of the worst most manipulative people I've ever met in my entire life. And don't worry, people might not see it now, but they will eventually. And I hope you know, I will be waiting. I've been waiting for two years and I'll keep waiting. Hey, it gives me something to think about. It'll happen eventually. Got tons of other shit to do. Got events going on in the future. Finally going to the gym, working out, got my weight down. Every now and then I'll just check in one of these days. I'll see it and I'll go, yep, there it is. Because there are people who get that I'm right and then there are people who don't get that I'm right yet. As of yesterday, the internet got to see that I was right about another person in the form of Dreamy. I'll keep waiting. I'll just keep waiting. Hey man, it's fun for me. This might be stressful to other people. This is fun to me. Because if there's anything that I love, it's so many people thinking that I'm wrong and then when I'm right, the look on their face when they're like, uh. <laughs> can't wait buddy it's gonna be great it generally does make me sad to see that he's not emotionally matured or grown at all from his past actions and experiences repeatedly farming drama for content even though it makes him upset it better oh you mean like the same people who constantly farm positivity for Genshin even though they hate their channel and their channel direction I know it's okay when they do it but it's wrong when I do it. True. Makes you sad? Atsu, I know beyond a shadow of a doubt you don't give a f about me. Don't lie and act like you care. I know that you monitor all of my bullshit just like you go on your alt Twitter and you subtweet the f out of anybody who you disagree with. At least I have the balls to f say it on me, you f pussy. Let's continue. Sadly, he'll continue to deflect, misconstrue, and spin narratives to suit himself until a person he deems as hierarchically above him actually confronts him. And they won't. You want to know why? Because those people agree with me. And they won't. So you can sit there and use all of your fancy language. Where'd you learn that at? Did you get a, did you get a degree in psychology on the internet? Look at you. Man, these are some very big words that someone who's trying to act very wholesome is using. Hmm. Now, how could he have learned these words? Ah, it's like he's a manipulator. He's a debater. And he does this all the time. Oh my God. So he is very familiar with all these tactics that he himself is, here's a great word you'll love, projecting on another person. And you want to know why I know those words, Atsu? Because I know how to debate people. Because I've had people attacking me for four years. And you know it as well as I know it. And you can go ahead and say I'm getting pity. It's because I'm white, Atsu. And you know that it is. Even back to the Arknights days, where the own Discord moderators themselves recommended the player base to not watch my content because I'm white. Because I'm white, I have been put at a severe disadvantage in this community. You can deny it if you like, but you know it's the truth. Let's continue. People think I dislike or hate Tectone, and they're correct. But I am genuinely indifferent. You're a liar. My last message to him was asking him if he wanted to play crab game, which understandably he ignored. Yes, I'm sure you sent that with good intentions. Yes, I, I would I would love to get into a call with a person who at one time made me lose one of my best friends. Amazing job, man. Yeah, that's right. Oh man, it was just a harmless invite. You know as well as I know, it was a petty attempt at you trying to piss me the f*** 
off by inviting me to something that you know I wasn't going to accept because why the f would I? You insufferable, annoying prick. It's insane. And I know you're calling me insane, but rewatch one of your VODs or your videos. You have one of the worst voices in humankind. I know that's a petty shot, but Jesus Christ, bro. Mother voices like nails on a chalkboard to me. I wish he would just be able to find some peace within himself by severing ties with communities and CCs that bring him unhappiness. Oh, so let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. I wish he would just be able to find some peace within himself by severing ties with the community and CCs that bring him unhappiness. You mean like the same narrative that I've been saying where I say, if you don't like the game, then don't play it. So it's okay if you say it, but if I say it, <laughs> it's a problem. Oh my God. And the worst thing is you're going to see how many likes this Twitter post have. And you're going to think, oh man, I really cooked them, didn't I? No. Do you want to know why I still get viewers, Atsu? Do you want to know why I still get viewers? It's because people are growing up, man. People are growing up. And they're seeing through everyone's bullshit. Doesn't matter if there's one Twitter post, three Twitter posts, 10 Twitter posts. Everybody is talking about me on Twitter right now. And guess what? It's all bullshit. And it's all from a bunch of mother that don't matter. Hey, bro, I bet the KKK don't like people who aren't white too. Doesn't make them right. So it really doesn't matter when your little friend group has an issue with me. Obviously you do because I'm making it doing the things that you tell everybody not to do. It's very not hard to understand. So let's chill with this bullshit of it's okay if he does it, wrong if I do it. Shut the fuck up. Let's continue. This would be a win-win for everyone, but he just cannot let go and always ends up putting other people's names in his mouth, just like you did, just like your friends did, and let's just remind you, you want to know how all this started? Your friend's tweet, Ziox. So why don't you realize none of this would have happened if Ziox, if you gave him a little bit better advice? If you and Zajef would get in your little powwow groups and give your little guys, your directionless content creators, a little bit better advice on what to do. Because I did not start this. I merely responded. Someone causes me issues, I'm going to have to correct it. And we're still going, because this could have been dropped yesterday, because you had to talk again. Initial tweet was low-hanging fruit. Of course, Eddie'd say, it's just banter and don't be such a pussy. True. P.S. If you're reading this tech tone and your source for some of these claims you are making against me. What? Your source for some of these claims you are making happens to be a guide maker that bears personal grudge against me. Please beware you're likely being manipulated. Maybe it's not who I think it is, but I'm certain you know who I'm referring to, so stay vigilant. My Discord DMs are still open if you ever wish for a private discussion. First of all, like, I'm going to talk to your stupid ass. So you say, with a vague message, your source for some of these claims... Happens to be a guide maker that bears personal grudge against me, so be aware. You're likely being manipulated. So what this is, is because I'm friends with a lot of guide makers, he's attempting to do now what he did two years ago. Say every single person that I talk to is a yes man, an attempt to get me to cut ties. Now I run a podcast with many guide makers, such as Vulcan, Gotcha Smack, Mr. Pokey, Braxophone, even Little Globa Certified, and MTash. So we'll use a a vague comment to attempt to get Tectone to doubt every single person he talks to. That way he won't reach out to them. Wow. How noble, man. I'm sure you're trying to save me. What a great guy. Well, unfortunately, here's your biggest weakness. I'm not a child, so I'm not going to fall for these Mickey Mouse claims. And how small you look right now is insane to me. I truly truly feel no sympathy for this man at all. And hopefully a couple more people have seen a genuine mask off moment. If you believe a single word of that post, I apologize. Hopefully I broke down, didn't cherry pick. I broke down every single, every single point with base, with examples on every single one, every single one. And you know what's crazy? Nobody else is doing that. They're just throwing this out. 
throwing that out, throwing shit at the wall, saying tech don't bad on Twitter. It's not going to work anymore, man. It's simply not. It's simply not. And, and the worst thing is, oh, my DMs are open. Oh, really? Wow. How sweet. How sweet. After you make a post with over 10,000 likes, how you're acting, you're so innocent of all that. Here's the thing, man. You're just as much of a bitch as I am, but I don't pretend to be anything that I'm not. Hope that makes sense. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, boys. Gotcha, community's blowing the f up. Every, and people say, oh, can't keep their name out of their mouth. Bro, like eight creators have made a post about me this week. Like, bro, it is so much the other way around. It's insane.